What's up guys? My name is Dustin. I go by Limestone Picker here on YouTube. Today, I bought someone's entire childhood WWF collection. Alright, so me and my girlfriend went up to her grandparents and I checked Facebook Marketplace while we were there and somebody posted uh, their, she said she had three sons. She posted all their wrestling figures from when they were kids. Uh, messaged her. She was asking $175 for them. And I asked, uh, could you do any better than that? And she said, the lowest I'll do is $125. And honestly, at $125, you can let me know. I'm pretty sure it's a good deal. I feel like I can make money off of it and upgrade some of my figures. But uh, we got three bags full of figures. And uh, I went and met up with her. And I ended up giving her 130 because I didn't have a five. But uh, we'll go through that now. All right, so in the first bag here, just rip it open. We won't really spend like too much time on them. But uh, here's one of the Toy Biz figures, the Scott Hall. Um, this one's probably going to go to my buddy Kale at work. He's been looking for some of the NWO figures. Uh, we also have the NWO Macho Man. So I've already got all these, but... Uh, I don't need two. Um, this is Lex Luger, I think. Looks like him. We got Lex Luger. Let's see. One of the Bushwhackers right here. That one. So it had both of these guys. So that set's complete. Uh, we got Brutus the Barber Beefcake. One of the guys from Demolition. I've gotten a lot better at this since my last video about uh, Hasbro figures. And I mean, like, my warrior like this, we got the Ultimate Warrior, but uh, the figures where their fingers are spread apart like that, they break easily. It took me forever to find a Hogan. I think all the ones that have fingers like that are intact. So we got Warrior right there. We have a WCW Sting. I don't know who that guy is. That's a WWF figure. We have a Stone Cold Steve Austin motorcycle, and I think we have the Steve Austin that sits on that too. We have a Toy Biz Hogan. I don't sell any Hogans, so... Uh, I don't know. I might sell this one to Kale. If he needs it, I might. But uh, normally I keep every Hogan that I get, especially figure-wise. Uh, Scott Steiner, is that who that is? I think. Marty Janetti. We have both the rockers in this. This is going to replace mine. So, uh, we have the pink Bret Hart. Mine looks awful. I painted mine because it was all messed up. But, uh, this is definitely going to replace mine. We have the other bushwhacker right here. Oh, uh, we got Diamond Dallas Page. We've got some guy. No idea who this is, but we got him. I don't know who this is. Is this the other Steiner brother? I have no idea, but it's a WCW figure. Uh, when Galoob made him, we have the British Bulldog. All of his fingers are intact. Like, this is a pretty good collection. And then we have Rowdy Roddy Piper right there. So that was just the first bag. In the second bag, there's some belts. But I don't really care about keeping any, either of these belts. So they're going to be sold. But um, we have an NWO WCW uh, belt right there. These are foam. They're not like... This one's a little heavier duty, I guess. But uh, this is the WWF Championship Belt. 1998. So we have both of those. And then we've got more figures. We have a Hasbro Hogan. He's got all his fingers there. We've got another Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I didn't know that, but... That's cool. 
We've got another Hogan. This one may have a better shirt than the one that I have. Uh, we'll have to check that out. Either way, I'm keeping them. It's just which one's going to be displayed. No, this is the other Steiner brother. There he is. So we have both the Steiners. We have Macho King, Randy Savage. Another guy from Demolition. We've got Million Dollar Man, and in the pictures he had his belt. I'm gonna have to find his belt. But we have a WCW belt right there. And then in the last bag. Um, Triple H, I think that's who it is. We've got an original San Francisco Toy Makers Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, there it is. So, here's Million Dollar Man's belt. That's going to be going to my figure. And like I said, any of these that are doubles, they're going to get sold as quick as possible. We have... Jeez, man, that's huge. We have a Toy Biz Giant. We've got Big Boss Man. This dude I didn't have. I don't even know who this guy is. But we've got him now in the Hasbro collection. We've got a Dwayne The Rock Johnson. We have a Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Uh, this is one of the figures that my buddy from work, he's been looking for. So he's certainly going to get this. But it's Kevin Nash's uh, show. Kevin Nash's Toy Biz figure. Uh, here is the Stone Cold Steve Austin that sits on the back. Oh yeah. So we've got that together now. We've got a WCW Sting, or Wolfpack Sting. The Mountie, I believe I've already up, updated my Mountie, so don't have to do that. We've got Shawn Michaels Hasbro. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but we got him. Another Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Jake the Snake, I've never found a Jake the Snake that has uh, the snake with him, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we've got this guy, no idea who he is. And we've got, what's his name? Starts with an H, I don't remember his name, but we got him. But yeah, that's what we got for $130. So we're gonna do a scan over everything so that you can get a good look at it. it for this one i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had a little fun along the way if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments what you think about this haul was it worth it for 130 dollars would you have spent it let me know i'll see you next time